Alright guys, Isaac here with the Twin Trimmers and today we're going to be doing a battle of the cans between the no spills and the sure cans. So for the first point system we are going to be doing e easy of use at filling up at the gas pump. When you're at the gas pump all you have to do for the sure can is press this little button right here and, if, and this just comes off. All you do is stick it in there, put it right back, then put this back on when you're done. But on the other hand, on the no spill, you have to do do like a regular gas can, and I don't. I prefer this a lot more because I'm just not a big fan of. We're just not a big fan of this on the all the regular gas cans where you have to press. There's so many different locks on it and stuff. And on the uh, sure cans, it just goes straight there when you're like when you turn it on. So point goes to sure can on this one. Next, we're going to be doing filling up mowers, riding mowers. So it's one to nothing for the sure can and zero one for the sure can and zero for the nose. No spill is going to win on this one because it's just all you have to do is tip it up, take this cap off, and press the green button, it comes straight out, just like that. This one you have to undo this, pick it up over the big riding mower. Like if you have a five gallon, that's pretty heavy, I mean. So uh, no spill will win on this one. Next, we're going to be doing filling up trimmers, backpack blowers, just all the two cycle equipment, you know. And no spill is going to win on this one because it just like, just like I said, um, ease of use, just pressing the button, it going straight into thing, not having to hassle with all this stuff. Next, we're going to be doing it is two to one, no spill, in sure can, no spill has two, sure can has one. Next, we're going to be doing push mowers, filling up push mowers. We prefer using the sure can because all you have to do is pick it up not as high. And I love how it just goes straight down in into the gas tank and fills it up. Um, so yes, sure can will win this one. Right now it is two to two. Next we're going to be doing dealers, like and like the people that make the company, the people that make the gas cans. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, sure can is going to win on this one because we had a problem with one of our no spill cans. We called them. They're like, you have to get, go through all this stuff. And I had a problem with the sure can. I called him right on the phone. He said, we un totally understand. Brand new gas can right in the mail through the other one away. Great support by sure can. So thanks so much, sure can. Shout out to them. They really helped us out when we had a problem with them. Next, so it is three to two, sure can. Next is price. The price on the sure can is a lot more expensive for the size, like, differences. This was a 2.5. This one's a 2.2. And you can see, you can't really tell the difference if you put them up. Uh, you can, but it's not a humongous difference. But still, this one I'm pretty sure runs about eighteen dollars. I think. Do not quote me on that. I think it's fifteen to eighteen dollars. And this one's twenty five dollars. Twenty, yeah, twenty five, twenty eight, something like that. So that's ten dollars more for a smaller gas can. So, so uh, no spill went on this one. It is three to three, guys. So. It is actually a tie for us. We really like both of these cans. For the price point, no spill. I mean, whatever you have. If you do not have a no spill dealer around, then you need to get you a sure can because they make really good gas cans. But if you do not have a Lowe's or something like that, then go get you a no spill at one of your dealers or something like that, guys. So comment down below what you think, which gas cans you like better, and which ones. If we get more gas cans, which ones do you think we should get? So like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you later.